for one old, year old. Dude. Look at we're still out here playing it. This is the by the way the first match without a Marth in it this entire weekend. My friend was chilling with me in the stands and uh, she doesn't like really play melee. She knows ultimate more. She was like, I've learned one thing watching. Marth is really good. Because <laughs> there was a Marth in every game. <laughs> Real, real, real. Actually, the Vasquez didn't have more fit. But the guy did formally it did felt more. like it, 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 was, it felt like more Marth. More Marth. Well, Marth moments uh, upon us all. But now we're <laughs> out here with Sheik. And now the girls are here. Yes. That was, that was, that was a girls' night here in Battlefield. Got Sheik and, and uh, It's already starting here. up, too. Like, they look a little bit kind of equal in skill, too, as we get, like, further in the bracket. Um, yeah. Interesting matchup, though, because I feel like in the meta, especially, Sheik is the character that's, like, the easier pickup that can beat Marth, while Peach <laughs> is not as good against like that kind of archetype that we've seen so much of so far. Instead, is kind of like she's better. He's better against fastballs. Like let's be yes. honest, with Sheik and like or, or Peaches rather. I feel like uh, with Peach, um, I mean I used to play Peach because there was a guy named USC named Maximilian and he played Fox. And I really, 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 <laughs> really wanted to beat him. And so you put him in I a blender. <laughs> a, I played a a crouch cancel down smash Peach. And by the way, that was the only move I had ever killed with up to that point, and I beat him. The skill curve of crouch Melee cancel is down a very smash, easy like, game. Do not let anyone tell you otherwise. As a previous Samus main, I shake Samus. on that. Samus. Yes. Oh my god. I was gonna ask you who you who you made in this game. Uh Samus, Samus for like since the like the last like 10 years or so, but I, I would say as of like late last year, I finally switched like a Puff main, but I still keep wow. Samus for like a lot of good counter picks. I'm like, I'll start some games. Of course, the Team Liquid employee plays no, Literally, Puff. like I, I've always kind of kept Puff as like a very light secondary, but over quarantine and like doing so much Hbox content, just watching Puff, I feel like I just know so many more Puff situations than Samus now. Yeah. I like Puff. Puff's, that's cool. Puff is, Puff is cooler than the like, lamest character. Puff is <laughs> cooler than the coolest character in Ultimate. Interesting take. Well, who uh, do you think the coolest character in Ultimate is? Coolest character in Ultimate is, I think, Ganondorf. Okay. I thought you were gonna say Kazuya. I don't know why. Kazuya is very. F he's the funniest character in Melee. Okay. I mean, I mean, I or, in Ultimate, rather. I mean, I mean Ultimate. And by the way, Melee's on a screen, but we're gonna talk about Ultimate anyway because we can. Uh, the segue I was gonna use for that is thinking about like I knew you were gonna say like. All right, well, I didn't think you were going to say Ganon, but respectable choice is every, like, wacky DLC character in that game. And then you look at just, like, how different that is to the game we're watching right now is, like, Yeah, especially because like, everyone's got to be everyone's gotta be a gimmick in that game. And, like, the least gimmicky character or DLC character is Piranha Plant. So, like, and he's got, like, uh, yeah, he has no gimmicks. He's, he has no, like, meter. Poison Cloud? It's not a meter. He just has to charge. Every got charged move in this game. No, but the fact that it's like it can do like what sixty percent if you no, like eighty like percent or something, right? Like something even like that. yeah, and, and like with no <laughs> knockback either, it's like any shield break at any percent is just death, guaranteed, even like zero. That's true. Of it. I mean, everybody's got gimmicks. Look at Peach, man. Peach is is like a the fact that Peach is like <laughs> would roughly be considered a gimmick in this game. Is like <laughs> yeah, really, yeah, which is it crazy. says a lot. Because Peach is is fundamental as they get. I mean, like Fox Falco, this entire game is just so sick. Despite melee is probably the, it's God's God's greatest creation is, is melee <laughs> by far, and you can here Peach. The game uh, aren't working out. Secretly, as much as like. secretly three stock elbows from Tar here uh, as we're talking about anything but the game. Danny M, bring it back maybe a little bit, but we have a hard time getting back to the stage. Sheik with platforms mm -hmm. to edge guard and ledge trap. It's the closest thing he had to ledge trap in this game. It's just Sheik on the platform being yes. able to use any move that she wants to get out of the way. And battlefield platforms in particular, like that platform height is just like, I swear it gives like. Sheik like a movement boost because like it's that perfect like kind of height with like it's your full jump like wave length and everything. It's just too a little high. You think? It's a little too high. But I like it better than stadium. No, no, I mean it is, it is. I'm not saying it's, I, I think it's too high that I don't like it, but it's oh, just okay, too high for like for characters to really deal with it. So yeah. Yeah, I think it's really oh, good. Okay, board. I see what you mean. Yeah. Uh, Jen here on the Sheik down throw forward air. Good That's night. It. Yeah, I say like the melee community has like come to consensus that Battlefield is like their Smashville, their PS2 kind of thing like that. Yeah. Uh, but there are people running around. It's running arguably around. Sheik's best stage, I think. Yeah, no, like, yeah I think with the is. exception of like the chain grab characters on FD. Yeah. Then it's like if you got if you got a low tier, just take an FD. That's true. I like how there's like the concept of like skill check characters, but uh Sheik is like the tier check. That is true. Like Sheik, Sheik not a skill check. Like I feel like you gotta you can't just like do one thing with Sheik and like get the dub. While you can with Peach. Yes. <laughs> just crap cancel down smash. Literally. Everybody and at home watching, if you want to like style your friends with like a one hour practice, you just go Peach. Yeah, it's true. 
or go have fun on Slippy. Just like, yeah. Bro, we got Doctor disrespecting the crowd, by the way. It's actually fire as so. hell. It's actually super raw. Slippy has changed so much of the meta. Like, were you following Melee, like, pre, like, pandemic doing whatnot? <laughs> like, because I feel like the game back then, yeah, I played, now, has changed I played, so much. I played, um, a, a tournament at my high school. In uh -huh. ninth grade, I played Ice Climbers, Ganondorf, and I bowed to someone in bracket as well. That is, uh, is the one that's thing a, I did. That's a cursed line. That <laughs> curse is an understatement. Uh, yeah. That was it, was, it was a baseline, frankly, but I did not win. Yeah. Uh, then I played another <laughs> event at my high school, and I played, I think, Falco. Okay. And I lost, I think I lost to a guy named CY, who I play at my local all the time now. Nice. I'm not sure that I was Oh, I get that nice, but it's like cool that it's like somebody like, you get to like, yeah. learn more about, try different characters. And, uh, I, I did, um, play, I did Wi-Fi events, uh, for EMU. Yeah. I played them when they were doing, uh, Yo, Great the tech. screaming tech, that was awesome. But then he died anyway. Right? <laughs> but there are signs of hope there for a quick second. True. The stage kind of worked though, definitely helping out, keeping Peach uh, alive yeah. longer. That was what, 190%? I think yeah, it was I was like, like uh, it's hard to, on killing them people on, uh, if you don't know, for the, the viewers at home, Battlefield, or, uh, Battlefield is a smaller stage, and this stage is big, Gigantic. big Battlefield, right? With Wispy there, wisping away, yep. as he is right now. So it's looking a lot a lot more even, while I thought that it was kind of be Taro was going to run away with it. Since Peach's recovery is so good and can uh, utilize that extra space for more DI just to live so much longer, usually but I feel like it's <laughs> safe to bet that Peach will always kind of dreamland. So it makes yeah. you wonder, like, what did the Sheik ban? Yeah, although when I play Peach, Peach, I'm a gimmick, so I go Yoshi's story because ah. I want to run into me so I can down smash them. Yes. But yeah, the conventional Peach pick is to survive for longer, kind of like how Falcon does to survive long too. Yeah. Especially against characters like Sheik, who don't have that crazy of a, of a recovery. Yeah. So even if they are surviving long, they're not going to live because there's like this, they will get edge guard. I'd say, like, of the top and high tiers, it's arguable that Sheik probably has the worst recovery. Probably. Not bad recovery, but. I mean, like Falcon, but like. Falcon's not the, the highest high tier. I mean, like, yeah. you know, the tippy top characters. Yeah, you know, who's here Falcon? Like, top tier. I, feel like. I think Falcon's moving up, though. Falcon is, uh. I don't think he's, like, slept on anymore after, like, Wizard. It's, like, more recent yeah. success. If anything, I would call Ice Climber the top tier now. Maybe Ice, Cli Ice Climber's in below. I know, I'm above, rather. Maybe, actually, maybe Falcon in above. It's, like, a top tier in this game. Anyway, that's a top tier move. And that's yeah. that there. Speaking of top tier, though, Tar is uh, doing everything they can to climb their way back in this match. Like even after Danny getting the first stock there, oh, yeah, didn't yeah. matter. Tar kept his uh, composure. Is just kind of chipping away at this Peach over and over. And any kind of like times that Danny's off stage, Tar is making the right reads, keep Danny out there, and just sealing up those kills a little bit sooner than uh, after that first stock. Oh yeah, Danny, you gotta be careful. Uh, he's get the stock up pretty quick. Yep. Uh, using, losing a lot more turnips now this game, which I think is also really good. I think uh, Sheik will really struggle with turnips. At least I do when I wish. I can see that, yeah. Because they have like, because like, look at you, get hit by them, and then they'll get trapped back, and then you get hit yep. by them again, because Sheik's got a really, like, middleweight kind of character. Out. But that being said, there's been numerous times where Tara's actually like caught the turnips, yeah, which is true. a little bit harder in Melee compared to other games, where it's like, you have to like, see catch it in the air, or like, the grab box for them is like really hard. And, like you don't see that many players do it outside of like really higher level play. So yeah, it's great to see that like Tar is like kind of picked up, especially with like a character without the disjoints like Sheik. So it's like if you do miss the catch, you're gonna get smacked in the face with that. Ah, uh, well, it's over. <laughs> so explanation of turnips. No turn needed. Down throw. F smash. Heading out. All you need. And good night.